everyone, welcome to Working On It. I'm Dr. A and I'm a clinical psychologist aiming to make your life just a bit more manageable. Remember the tools and the tidbits that you pick up on this channel are purely educational. They can't replace therapy, but with some practice, they can help you along in your daily life. So let's get started. Today, we will be with building on the last video, which was about detaching, unvelcroing yourself from thoughts and feelings that you might get stuck in. If you didn't watch the last video, it is very, very important that you go watch it. Today, as I do this video, I'm going to be practicing everything that I'm asking you guys to ever practice about frustration and anxiety, because you guys are not gonna believe this, but this is my third try recording this video. The first video went great, <laughs> taking you guys through a guided meditation, but guess what? No audio, the sound, there was no sound recorded. And so I was very frustrated and trying to do all the things that I tell you guys to deal with frustration and stress. And the second time I recorded, guess what? No audio again. So my fingers, my toes, everything is crossed that this time before I basically throw my phone out the window, that this time everything will go swimmingly because I know this video could be really helpful to you guys and really build on the things that we talked about last time. So everybody, if you have any advice for me for why it happens when you record a video, there's no audio along recorded with it, what I could do to fix it, please, please, please let me know in the comments because my stress level is at a 10 and my patience level is at a zero. So let's hope that this goes okay. Um, if this is your first time doing a mindfulness meditation, a guided meditation of any kind, what I want you guys to do is just to sit up straight, uncross any arms, uncross any legs, or you can go ahead and lay down for this meditation. Um, and when you sit, I want your hands to look like this. You put one hand into another relaxed position and all you have to do is, not yet, but we're gonna be closing our eyes and you're gonna listen to the sound of my voice. Now, what we're gonna account for is anytime you do a meditation or mindfulness, you are going to have your mind wander and drift away to what you're doing later or pictures or images or thoughts. All you have to do is know that that's natural, you're not doing it wrong, and drag yourself back to my voice and to what we're doing right now. That's all, okay? Now, I hope the audio comes through okay because I unplugged the microphone, which I usually have plugged in, so the sound comes through nicely for you guys, so hopefully it's okay. I unplugged it just in case that was the problem of why I kept losing audio, but we'll see. So now pick your position. Do I wanna sit? Do I wanna lay down? Your hands are like this. And like I said, know that your mind will wander. Just keep bringing it back and bringing it back and bringing it back. So let's get started with the meditation that will focus on distancing ourselves from the thoughts that we get really, really stuck in and the feelings that we might be getting stuck in. So let's get started. What we're gonna start by doing is taking a deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Again, in through your nose, out through your mouth. If you haven't already, you can go ahead and close your eyes and I want you to imagine yourself in a forest and it's on an autumn day so as you look to the right of you as you look to the left of you in your mind you should be seeing beautiful beautiful colors in this forest you have yellows with some brighter colors some more dull colors you have oranges, and then you notice some brown dead leaves on the trees too, about to fall down. And now I want you to see yourself looking all the way up, and it seems like the trees go into the sky, they're so tall. 
and you notice a lot of green leaves still left on the trees and that the sun and the rays are peeking through the tops of the trees, making little beams of light. And you actually feel some of the sun creating a little warm spot on the very top of your head. You feel that warmth as the fall still lingers before it turns into winter. And then you look back down and down at your feet. I want you to see yourself lifting your right foot up, putting it down, your left foot up, putting it down. You immediately hear a crunch. And you start to walk forward a little bit in this beautiful lush forest. And the leaves are just crunching in such a satisfying way under your feet as you're walking. It almost looks like you're walking in a painting, but you know it's real because of the sunlight and because of the crunching of the leaves. And as you're walking, you start to speed up a little bit. It's not as much of a stroll anymore because there's a new sound that you hear. And it's the sound of a stream or a babbling brook or a river. You're not really sure, but it's definitely water. And the faster that you walk, the closer the sounds of the water seem to get. You're getting closer and closer until you see it. It's definitely a stream and it's going from your right hand side and you follow your gaze all the way to the left hand side as it's flowing beautifully downstream and you walk up to it and you look down and you, you hear it so clearly now, the water rushing and you see how crystal clear the water is and you kneel down next to that water and you put your hand into the water, your right hand. It feels cold. And the stream just goes around your hand and keeps going, not fast. And you take your hand out and you kind of give it a shake. Good. And then you wipe it on your jacket. And the next thing you notice is that the stream has leaves on it. The leaves come into view as they flow closer and closer to you. And then as they go downstream, they come back out of view. And leaves of all different colors. As a leaf gets closer to you, you notice that there's something on it. It's a thought. It's your thought. I want you to read as it gets closer to you one of these thoughts now. Good. And we're just going to let the leaf float and do what it does. We're not gonna take it out of the stream. It just floats into view and it floats back out. And then you turn your head to the right and you notice another leaf with another thought. What does this thought say? Good, you get a really good look at it as it drifts closer to you. Now I want you to watch it drift away and watch it as long as you can until it drifts completely out of sight. Good. Another leaf floats by. You notice that this leaf doesn't have anything on it. So I want you to be the one to put a thought 
or an emotion right onto it. Good. We're not taking the leaf out of the stream. We're just putting that thought or emotion right onto the leaf and allowing it to do what it does. You don't need to interfere with it. You don't need to fix it. You just need to let it flow, flow, flow until you can't see it anymore. Now I want you to take another breath in and breathe out. Good. And open your eyes. Hi. Welcome back. How was that experience for you? Did you find that your mind was running away from you the whole time? Was there any parts that felt good and you were able to focus? Was this your very, very first ever mindfulness or meditation or both? I would love for you guys to start a conversation in the comments and support one another about how that went for you. And if you have any questions for me on how you can refine this practice for yourself, because now you know what I'm gonna say. I want you to practice, practice, practice without me. The first few times you can play this video through and just listen to the sound of my voice and do it along with me. And then what I want you to do is pick a time of day when your mind is running wild or you're finding yourself stuck and give this a try over and over again. So I suggest bedtime to start and then you could do it whenever you want. But bedtime is a great time when we need to be still and our mind isn't letting us calm down or our mind isn't letting us get out of a story that we're in over and over again. So every time you go back into this world, you can color it in a little more and more and more, okay? Maybe the next time there's a bunny running through the forest as you walk up to the stream. Maybe there's a bird that flies by. Maybe it's not fall, maybe it's winter. You get to be the boss of how you develop this world. And every time you come back and you can color it more and more, maybe the stream is wider. Now, if you're finding that the stream is running too fast or the leaves are you know, going crazy and going too fast, you are the boss. Remember that, slow down that stream, slow down the leaves that go by and figure out, is it easier for you when a leaf comes by with a thought already on it? Or every time a leaf comes by, would you like to put a thought on it and watch it drift out of sight? But at the end of the day, they're similar, so it's whatever's comfortable for you. What we're doing is de-velcroing, right? Detaching, we're creating distance between you and a thought. So that ultimately, just like I said in the last video, you know that I am not my thoughts, even when I find myself so stuck in them, and I am not my emotions. I have the capacity to create distance between the thoughts that are distressing to me, upsetting, that I just need a break from, and this meditation is a great way to just create distance between you and what your mind is doing to you. And just observe, just like we talked about last week, right? So practice, practice, practice doing this leaves on a stream exercise and see how it goes. Let me know in the comments below. You can also contact me on Instagram if you have any questions or need clarification on something. It's working on it with drdr.a on Instagram. And there I just introduced the videos that we're gonna be working on. So if you wanna follow me on there, you'll always know what video I'm posting next, what the topics are next, okay? Please keep subscribing and liking the video so I can continue to make this content for you. And in the meantime, we are going to use last video and this video to detach and get unstuck out of our thoughts and out of our emotions so that ultimately we're in control, not our thoughts or our emotions yanking us around. You got this. See you guys next time.